Hello and welcome to my On One Photo Raw 2023.5 review, preview, and roughly how it works, what's new in it, video. So um, let's get into it and I'll tell you all about it. So there's a few cool little things after being added to On One Photo Raw 2023.5. Firstly, Resize AI, that has been upgraded. So there's facial recognition, there's also improved algorithms and whatnot in it. Secondly, then we've got this refine tool too as well for masking. Few final things after being brought into this. I'm gonna show you that first. Looking at this photograph here now, this is a photograph that I love the texture in the sky. Look at that darkness in the sky, I exposed correctly for the sunlight breaking through along here, but my shadows are shocking. So if I open up my shadows, all of a sudden, I've lost the texture and detail in my sky. So what I want to do is I want to add a mask here. So I'm gonna go up here to local and give it two seconds. I'm gonna click on the mask and mask AI. And what I'm gonna do, sorry, I went too far there. What I'm gonna do is select flora. Yeah, that's gonna work. Natural ground, yeah, perfect. And click on apply. So that's gonna mask both those areas. So once I open out my shadow details now, boom, there we go. That is looking that's looking good, no? Sorry, my exposure is down a small bit. There we go. That's looking 200 times better now. Now, the only issue, as you can see, the masking around the tree isn't fantastic. So when I'm zoomed in on the tree here, you can see quite clearly that hasn't masked around the tree beautifully. It really hasn't. But what you can do here is you can go to the Refine Brush Tool, and above on top here, we have a few different options. We have original hair branches, hard edges, diffuse edges, noisy edges, and user defined, which you can just change by going up here and clicking on the gear icon but we're gonna go here in branches. And what I'm gonna do is just select maybe a slightly smaller size. Uh, we go along here now. So, so what I'm gonna do is just paint quickly out along the outside edge there and get rid of some of those white specks. So what it's going to do is the AI in on one photo raw 2023.5 is actually going to refine the mask here now. And again, I'm doing this quite slow. <laughs> it's one of my first times doing this on this photograph, and I'm probably gonna make a hames of it. But what I should have done is, I should have picked a bigger brush tool there now. So I'd actually be finished now at this stage, but what I'm gonna do is just run through along here. So what it's gonna do is, it's gonna just gonna refine the mask in those areas I've painted over. So if I get up towards the top there now, and once I let go of the mouse there now, that's gonna start re-rendering the mask, and look at that. That has pulled it all in, in along here. It's a lot tighter. It is a lot closer. It is a lot better. Now, is it absolutely perfect? Possibly not. But what you can do here is, if I go to hard edges and just go in along here a small little bit. Yeah, that's, that's kind of working. Yeah, there we go. And run down along here. You can sometimes get a few digital artifacts and whatnot. And the reason for this is, this is an incredibly complex image to sort out. This is not an easy one. It really and truly isn't. In all fairness, I picked a really difficult one because I really wanted to push this to the limits. If you try this with a tree without um, without leaves in it, it's going to be an awful lot easier. But um, there wasn't much point doing that because we all know that's going to work. But as you can see, that is that is tidying up there now nicely. It is going to take a small bit of time to get it all right just around the edges, but I am zoomed in at 100% there now too as well. Once I go back, you can see there's still a few bits in the middle. There's a bit of work to be done there and whatnot, but that is a lot better. You can straight away see how much of a difference that's after making. And again, if I zoom in along here, you can see that little that little line there where the mask isn't quite right. I can just go back to refine here now again. Um, if I go off hard edges and go to hair and branches maybe again, maybe bring the size down a small bit there now again, uh, da, 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 along 40, and I just quickly, oh dear Lord, I'm just going to quickly run along like that, and I'm making an absolute hames of this here now. But let's just see what that does. That is a lot better there now. And do the same on the other side. And I'm really doing this super quickly, so I have probably messed this up now again. And what we're going to do is just go back to view and click on fit there now. And that is getting better and better. Again, spend a small bit more time with that, and you can refine it even more again. It's really fast, it's really easy to use, and it works quite well. Now, is it absolutely perfect? No, it's not, but this is a great starting point, and everything that's gonna make life easier for me is gonna be a massive advantage. On this side here, you can see that looks really good there now. I went just along here now is the, that side, what I probably should do is use the hard edges, fine brush tool, and that's gonna really help there. We can clean up the inside of the tree too as well as small, but all 
all those little finicky details on the outside edge of the tree that has really helped a massive amount. So that's the first photograph. Just wanted to show you quickly how that works. The second photograph now is this one. So what I'm going to do with this is we're going to look at the photograph details. So it's 1367 by 2048. So this is quite a small or quite a low resolution image. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to go to our local adjustments and we're going to click on our mask and we're going to go in here to mask AI and select people. Click on apply. And what I want to do is just boost the shadows there now a small bit. And as you can see, when I boost him up along a good bit, we have issues here around the hair, and it's after also picking this side too as well, and just under the arm there too as well. So what we're going to do is go to Refine, and we are going to click down along here, and we're going to see how well this works now. Is this going to magically work? Jeez, it did. Fair play. <laughs> so I'm going to go up around the hair here now too as well and see how this works. I actually genuinely didn't think that was going to, wow, that actually worked really well too as well. And just click here underneath here. Boom, there we go. Yeah, okay. Um, I picked this image because I didn't think it was going to work that well, but that's the adjustment down here. And if I bring up the exposure here now a small bit, see that's a bit too much. I actually have the shadows brought up too far. I just want to lift the side of the hair just here. So if I switch that on and off, so that's the original shot. And sorry, here is the edit. I just want to bring a small bit more detail in along here and just, yeah, that just looks an awful lot better to me there now. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Resize AI, which is the other thing, the other new addition to the software. So we're going to click on that. We're going to try and increase the resolution of this photograph by 200%. If I type in 200 here now and click on that, and if I go to Fit, we're going to see here now that has brought that up nicely there now. So that looks really good there now at the moment. Now, the one thing I wanted to show you here is face recovery. Obviously, because face is half in light and it's half dark on the other side, and the fact that it isn't fully firing fully straight on at you, face recovery is going to have an issue in this photograph. So once I click on it, you can see it has really helped the face there on this side, but it's also superimposed something over along here. But, um... It just doesn't always pick up the faces perfectly. But like anything else, this is only going to get better too as well again. So if I just pull this back down along, I've had exactly the same thing in other software applications used for resizing images. So um, that's why I'm using this photograph, just to show you. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go zoom in here at 100% and pull this down along. So that's the face there now. If I switch that on and off, see it's not making a massive difference there now it is helping very very fractionally so let's go up to 400 percent 400 percent and click on okay and let's look at the 100 percent zoom and zoom in along and now obviously this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger but that looks really good still too as well you can see i didn't get my masking area quite right there i missed a tiny little bit above the top there that looks really good there now you can see those lines that's actually from the hair sticking out along you're just going across her face we're zoomed in at 100 percent here now too as well on a file that's 5468 by 8192 so that is just crazily stupid there now at the moment um so yeah resize ai 2023.5 really good algorithms that are after being updated and it just works a lot better the facial recognition mission too as well works really well i could just show you that in several other photographs but i didn't think there was a point i wanted to explain to you how this does work and also how it doesn't work at times quite perfectly just so you understand nothing is perfect this is a starting point and it's going to go forward from here the refine bush tool and face recovery ai and also resize ai 2023.5 huge step forward so far so let's get into the next few advances the next thing i want to show you here now is custom curves so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the effects tab here now and we're going to go over to add filter and i'm going to go down here to curves we're going to click on that give that two seconds it's going to open out the curves and what you see is i can adjust up and down along here my curves so i can just click on a point pull up and pull down and that's going to add a specific point on the curve so i can adjust my overall exposure to whatever way i want and you can just see boom that's it that looks a lot better to me there now and that just took a couple of seconds or i can select a specific part here too as well if i say oh look the blacks there if i click on that now and if i pull down that's going to darken that part of the image or then go up and it's going to brighten that part of the image and just that part of the image so it's going to select that brightness level and it's going to adjust that then afterwards for me so i can adjust that to whatever way i want so it's just really cool you can do this with custom curves so again to switch that off and to switch that back on long and i did that in seconds so really really handy you can add in your own custom curve in there and you can also do it for the red green and blue channel it's on all there now which is adjusting the overall exposure but if i just want to adjust the reds i can actually pick on this and go red up or 
go more blue or whatever you want to do. So, and I can just right click on that then and I can remove control point and it's going to reset it. And I can go back to all then again and I can adjust my existing custom curve. So you can do that really quickly and really easily and see your histogram in the background here too as well. So the next really cool option we have here too as well is if I want to add a new adjustment. So I'm going to click on add adjustment, right? It's going to add a new layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the encircle option. So basically what I can do is I'm just going to grab my refine, refine brush tool and just run it around the edge of the red dress here now. This brush tool is probably way too big here now at the moment. But we're going to run it the whole way around and leave a gap in the center, which is the most important part, and go to there now. Now, that should automatically adjust our look at that. That's just adjusting our dress now. So if you said, oh my God, look, this is the way it looks here in the moment. I actually don't like that. That's a bit too bright. The dress is a bit too distracting. I can just pull down the saturation a small bit in that. And I can bring down the highlights a small bit in the dress too as well. And it's just not going to be as in your face. So if I look at that on and off, bang, bang. So that's really simple, really easy to do. And it just takes seconds. So that is incredibly handy. So it's just a case of get your, grab your refine tool, circle it around the object itself, leave a bit of space in the center so it understands what part of the object you want it to adjust. And then that's it. So just add your adjustment layer and away you go. So that's how to use the encircle mask option with the refine brush. It's really simple, really fast and really easy to do. So finally, the one other thing I've to show you here too as well on on one photo raw 2023.5 and yes that is a mouthful is mask ai foreground and background masking and yes you might have spotted it already earlier on but if i click on mask ai here now i have the option of background and i have the option of foreground and yes it is going to select if i click on foreground and click on apply i can adjust everything then on my model and again we can go to mask refinement then too as well again like after the refine brush and whatnot but what it does here is it looks at the center point of your image or the subject in your image so yes, obviously, this is a model standing on a beach. So she is going to be the subject in my photograph. So that's going to be my foreground. Everything else is going to be pushed back. It's my background. So when I click on foreground, it's going to highlight her. So if it's a person, a dog, an animal or whatever else, then it, that's going to be your subject. So that's, or that's going to be your foreground. Everything else is going to be your background. So you can layer or you can edit both of those separately. So that's a really cool, really handy, really fast little feature in On One Photo Raw 2023.5. So that's it, folks. Um, just show what's new what's interesting what's exciting i uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something new um have loads of fun with it and uh see you out there and see you in the next video